everyone, it's Diane and this is the Angel Hub for Monday the 14th of October and um, before I start I just want to say thank you so much for the lovely warm welcome. It's been so nice to realise that these messages are meaningful to you and um, it just makes it doubly nice to be back. So thank you again for that and thanks for all your love and support. I appreciate all of it. I don't always get to read uh, to respond to all of the comments but I do read them and I really really appreciate them so thank you very much and thank you for sharing as well thank you for sharing thank you for the likes thank you for everything that helps me to get these messages out further and um, and that lets me know that you are actually getting some meaning from them and some benefit so okay I'm going to move on to the first card and I'm actually going to choose this card no I'm not okay I was going to choose this card as a theme but I'm just being asked to keep it quite free again and again I'm welcoming your comments on any things that you would like to see me stroke us explore okay so the first card I've got for Monday is prayer okay so the card says dear guardian angel help me dissolve past guilt or regret help me to see that all is always in perfect and divine order so what I love about that is that it says, help me to dissolve past guilt or regret. Now this is regret or guilt about anything at all. That Because, okay, sometimes we make mistakes, sometimes we do things or don't do things, do things that we shouldn't or don't do things that we should. And what makes it a lot worse than the actual misdemeanor is the way that we can carry these things around with us endlessly and so the message for Monday I feel is and I'm not talking about major things because we know about cause and effect we know that there are consequences to major infractions let's just say um, but if there's something that you're carrying around with you that you think oh I should have done that or oh I shouldn't have said that or I shouldn't have done that it's really really a good idea today Monday to have a clean slate and to just really ask to be connected with that sense that all is always in divine order because there is a greater plan at work that we can't necessarily see and sometimes when we think that we've we've done an action that isn't quite right somewhere inside us we were actually following our hearts so if it's an opportunity that's been missed or something of that nature then uh, just trust that you're still being guided and that all is well concerning that. And if there is someone that you need to speak to, to have a conversation with, to put something right, ask for the right words to do that. Ask for a way to be shown. Um, okay, help me to let go of the fear that I project on my future. Help me to live fully within each precious moment and feel your eternal love within and around me. Help me to realise and fulfil my true potential. Thank you. So this really is about praying to be assisted in fulfilling our real potential, our full potential. So if we are in a situation where we're actually aware that it's a fear that's held us back. This is Monday is a good day to really ask to be connected with the part of ourselves that knows that we're eternal, that knows that we're loved, that knows that we're supported, and that also knows that where one door closes, another one will open. I know it's a cliche, but again, it's about being asked to see opportunities around us that really are the right opportunities that are completely in alignment with what we feel is our true path, led by what really, really excites us and that we flow into easily. Okay, so um, I'm going to just pick another card to go with that, just to really, really get clear about prayers and about anything else that we can be praying for um, on Monday. And I'm just hearing from one of my guides that I need to emphasise that prayer isn't always about asking for something. Sometimes prayer is just asking to become more at peace with what is, with who we are, with what we are, with what we've, you know, just a way of completing ourselves, completing the circle of forgiveness and self-acceptance. Okay, so, and that actually, as I say, it feels like such a powerful thing. If we could just do that today, things would become quite amazing around us because we don't always realise how much we're out of step with that, how much we're talking to ourselves in a negative way. And, you know, people out there who are going to now tell themselves off for talking to themselves in a negative way, please don't. 
don't do it okay <laughs> right I know I've been there right so creative project the card here and I love these uh, daily guidance cards because they do give us a step-by-step -step way of, of looking at what we're hoping to embrace on any given day so Monday is going to be a great day to really really become connected with our creativity to allow the joy of our creativity to bring us to life again to feel ourselves within that creativity and to know and to love and accept all that we truly are because creativity is a huge gateway into divine connection so don't neglect that by thinking uh, rigidly I have to do something that's more obvious um, I don't know spiritual or connected creativity is a huge gateway to connecting spiritually and receiving inspiration is one of the highest forms of service that we can bring especially at this time when the arts are being quite uh, let's just say misguided corrupted by some of those elements that are not necessarily for our highest good okay or in the lightest um, possible essence at the moment so if you have something that's creative and pure and beautiful and aligned with spirit that you can bring connect with that and pray to be accepting of your gift and to be willing to share that gift okay that's quite a lot for a monday so i'm just going to say thank you again for all your love and support thank you for watching and i'll be back tomorrow bye